Hello, my name is Nish Parikh, CEO of WebTeam Corporation. We've been working with experts from the autism community for past five years. And now we are seeking your support to introduce generation two of iLearn and Earn. This technology is going to introduce individualized intervention in a very cost-effective way, utilizing technology, where the child will able to learn anytime any place. Autism is an interesting disorder. The general theme is problems in the social and emotional domain, interacting with people. Well, autism is, is, is really one of the most significant uh, issues in the field of education. One of the challenges is that there really aren't enough programs that utilize technology to take advantage of the opportunities to really help students be the most they can be. In all of medicine, in all of psychology, and in all of education, the areas that impinge most upon this problem, in all those areas, the earlier that you treat, the more likely you're going to have success. We started working with experts from the autism community and children with autism five years ago. And uh, from working with experts, we end up developing this I Learn and Earn Generation 1 app and a kiosk-based application, which is working with children with autism globally and almost delivering over 5,000 sessions every day. Now we are launching this I Learn and Earn Generation 2. So what we are doing is, we are delivering intervention in the classroom utilizing kiosk or iPad and extending this to homes where parents can uh, work with their children and deliver the same consistent intervention at home, which is going to be based on Eden's infant and toddler curriculum, age two to five. Eden Autism Services is actually a program for children, adults, and families who are impacted by autism. We're highly data-driven. We collect a lot of data in order to make decisions on how to modify interventions and teaching strategies. We've worked with, it, with Nish and I Learn and Earn to look at incorporating teaching strategies that, that were consistent with our curriculum. So we had them come in, uh, Nish set up a kiosk in one of our classrooms, and we had several students who worked through that to help uh, develop the kinds of uh, skills and behaviors that would be beneficial to our specific population. So what we did was actually work on the design and development of the kiosk. You would log in with your fingerprint um, instead of typing since they had motor challenges. Uh, in addition to that, we had a camera inputted in there so that as the kids and children are playing the game, we were actually recording all their facial expressions, which was also part of the data collection model. With many of our students, they really want to be actively involved in computer games, colorful, musical, those kinds of stimulating activities. It did give me a little game about um, cars, and I had to, and I had to touch those cars and it's like fun and exciting. So over time, we were able to look at not only the skills that were acquired, but also the interactiveness of the programs. So my dad has created this project, I Learn and Earn. My involvement in this project is that I have created many voiceovers for all of his games, and I've given feedback for all his visuals. We are looking for more support from more people. I really like the idea of customizable software. I think it adds a sense of familiarity to the individual, whereas if you have an app and you want to teach the young child who their parents are, you can take a picture of their parents and say, these are your parents and your parents only. If we can have the technology that can provide them uh, a mechanism uh, to engage and to uh, improve their focus of attention by involving them, interacting with those devices, then that would be the first step. With our Eden Outreach services, we can bring these skills, bring these games much beyond the, the classrooms that we have here. 
So even locally through public schools and private schools, Nina Finkler will be able to bring these games to those families, to those teachers, to those students. But even more globally, with the World Wide Web, we are now getting requests to access these skills, uh, these skill games from all over the world. I think we're starting to see a little bit more uh, willingness by educators to not think of games as something that is play but also as a viable teaching method. One of the things, particularly for students with autism, that they require is opportunities for practice, opportunities for repetition, as well as opportunities for generalization. Giving them those opportunities in a game format is something that's not only um, beneficial teaching-wise, but it also serves as a platform for social interaction, is a way to carry over what they're learning in school into the home setting by bringing that in as a mode of teaching really enables the students to not even realize that they're learning. Let's bring the technology to autistic children to have them that joy of accomplishment so that they can learn faster and they can be an integral part of our society. Thank you very much for your support. Together, we can make a difference. Thank you.